Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 254. Cardiac Output Variables. What are all the things that affect stroke volume? Stroke volume is affected by contractility, afterload, and preload. What is a mnemonic to help you remember stroke volume is affected by all these things? The mnemonics is SVCAP. CAP stands for contractility, afterload, and preload. What causes the increase in stroke volume? Stroke volume is increased when there is an increase in preload, decrease in afterload, or increase in contractility. What are all the reasons that causes an increase in contractility and therefore an increase in stroke volume? All the reasons that cause an increase in contractility includes catecholamines, increased in the intracellular calcium, decreased in the extracellular sodium, and digitalis use can all lead to an increase in contractility. How does catecholamines cause an increase in contractility? Catecholamines increases the activity of the calcium pump in the sarcoplasmic reticulum, therefore causing increase in contractility. How does the decrease in the extracellular sodium cause an increase in contractility? The decrease in extracellular sodium causes a decrease in the activity of the sodium-calcium exchanger, and this eventually leads to an increase in contractility. How does digitalis cause an increase in contractility? Digitalis blocks the sodium-potassium pump. This leads to increase in the intracellular sodium. This will lead to decreased activity of the sodium-calcium exchanger, and therefore there will be an increase in the intracellular calcium. This leads to increase in the contractility. What are some of the life situations that can cause an increase in the stroke volume? The increase in stroke volume can happen due to anxiety, exercise, or in pregnancy. What happens to the stroke volume in a failing heart? A failing heart has decreased in stroke volume. What situations cause an increase in the myocardial oxygen demand? Myocardial oxygen demand is increased with afterload, which is proportional to arterial pressure. It's also increased with contractility. It also increases with heart rate, and it increases with heart size due to increased wall tension. What are all the reasons that would cause a decrease in contractility and therefore decrease in the stroke volume? The decrease in contractility and therefore a decrease in the stroke volume can happen with beta-1 blockade, which decreases the CAMP. It also happens in heart failure due to systolic dysfunction, as well as in acidosis, hypoxia, and this happens in hypoxia due to decrease in PO2, and hypercapnia, because in hypercapnia there is an increase in PCO2, also with non-dehydroperidine calcium channel blocker use. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.